And let us return to the words of the Medjish Rabba and Dvarim. Shemefarish divrei Yisro l'shevach, that explains the words of Yisro in a praiseworthy way, not like the Medrash Rabba v'ayishchanon. Alahavi mashikas of Yisro l'Yisro, mashama Yisro ki gadol chulu. And to understand the words of Yisro that he said, that Havai is greater than all the Elohim, because of that which they had plotted. That it was exactly what they plotted that happened to them. And he was amazed that this, that his uh, strength may be blessed, was to rule over them, even when he does not change nature. That's the concept of the cause of causes. That he causes things to happen within nature to hap- happen in the world exactly as he wants. For example, what happened with Haman, the Oso Salu that he was, the Oso Talu that they hung him on the tree all within natural causes. And this is a great um, thing and in, in, in beyond just saying that God breaks the natural order and does miracles. That even though he does not change the nature completely, if so, he's not holding withholding the the ability and the strength and the effect of the 100, 120 combinations of the name Elohim of holiness that it's still there is vigam lot sirufe Elohim acherim de klipa not also the combinations of the name Elohim that uh, give to the klipa right the advanced benicham the last memches sirufim im kolze gam me bechina zu godel kocho even so, from even greater than this concept is 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 his strength. Lishlot alehem to rule over them, v'zeu inyan sibas asibos v'chulu. And that's the concept of the cause of causes. That even within the tzirufim melukim, you feel the effect of shem havaya. V'imken inyan god lavaya mikol alukim. If so, the concept that havaya is greater all, than all the alukim inu soser. It does not contradict the mashikos of mibaladai in elokim that other than me there is no elokim. Because we're still not talking about an elokim outside of him. Kibem is in an elokim because they're not really elokim. Rakshu is barach nos in koach biyadam. Hashem is only the one who gives them the koach. Alkein nikra elokim and that's why they're called elokim. Val derach ze amru rezal chulin dav zayin amar beiz and similarly our sages said in chulin. Lama Nikrashmam Kshofim, why are they called magics? In the name Kshofim, Shemakhishin, Palmalia, Shelmailachul. That it's a combination of words, Kshofim, Kshemakhishin, Palmalia. That they contradict the heavenly uh, hosts above. Vafal Pichin Gambi Bichin Azuni Shinikraim Elohim. And nonetheless, even in this concept that they're called Elohim, the kochos that are given to them, God Havaya Mikol Elohim, Havaya is still greater than the Elohim. Bechol Asher Chafitz Asa, then all that he desires, he does, Ki lo yivatsu asibus mimenu, because no causes or effects are, uh, are, are uh, outside of him. Whether he does it within nature or beyond nature. And this is proven from the Pasuk in that which they plotted. That some, such a thing that needs to happen to the one who causes the causes. To happen, the, the events proceed in such a way. That within the nat- uh, orderly natural process, al pisar shololam, according to the ministering angel of the world, mlubush malamay lamateva is enclosed, 
that which is beyond nature, and he encloses it with all the things that happen, that, are, that cause other things. And look what it says in the Maimah, that you are a father. That this is, draws higher than the miracle that's outside of nature. Legamri completely. Because here you do have also that which is beyond nature. And, but it's also enclosed within the nature. Vayin Shem, look over there. Kibinez shechutz leteva that in a miracle that's outside of nature, nimshach mizir anpin that draws from za. Al derech molich limin Moshe, like the the concept of the pasuk that he conducts to the right of Moshe's roa tifarto, his his beautiful arm, or the arm of his beauty. Meaning to say that the the right side and the left side they're shaykh to za, which are the midos or the halbishma. Shilamayla mahatava toch levush hatava, and to so so that the, the mean Moshe, I mean, Moshe is the one who did the, the kriyas yamsuf. That's a, a miracle beyond nature. And he lifts up his arm. Hashem tells him to lift up his arm, and, and with this the um niteyodcha and so forth. With that he produces the miracles beyond nature. So that's also a proof that the arms are connected with the miracles beyond nature. But the miracles that are beyond nature that are within nature so that's drawn from even higher from the sod of Abba of Sviyos that receives from Atik from Kasser why is it drawing from so high? Because this is like a uniting two opposites. Or I don't think is That a person's sustenance is more difficult than bringing the redemption. Like I said, you said in Baba Basra about the concept of Eov, that the Hashem was asking the Sultan to break the vessel, so to speak, but keep the wine. Meaning to say, break the body, but keep the soul in. Ah, that's the context for there. So that we can say there, break the vessel, which is breaking the nature, because of the source of the miracles, that comes from the source of all sources, but keep its wine, that nonetheless, he here calls him, that all of this will be enclosed within the garment of nature, and will not come out something without uh, completely outside of nature. And this is just like what happened on Purim. That there was a reason that he despised Vashti and he took Esther and so forth. If so, and, and we explain the verse that you now you, you, I know that Havai is greater than all the Elohim Rasulama, that is to say, Sha'af Bibikinas Elohim Gematria Hateva, that even in the concept of of Elohim, that's the Gematria of nature, that Elohim here in this context then is referring to nature, Shibazeni Tanakwah Sarashalolam, in which is given the ability from the Abishtur to the ministering angel of the world, Liosan Haga, Kafin Main Hago, Shalolam, that the context should be within a, the set of rules of the nature of the world, and from which receives the 70 ministering angels of the nations and so forth. So that's that's what it means, Elohim, the Teva, and also in this concept, in, in this context, God is still greater than them, 
because it shines a concept that's beyond the nature, to include the truly within the nature. And this is what it means, greater than all the Elohim, I know being Elohim the Kedusha, whether we're talking about the Elohim within holiness. Kuf Kaf the 120 combinations of the name Elohim, whether we're talking about Elohim, that's the other side, which is 120 combinations. Now, this is a diff this is an interesting concept that there's 120 combinations within Kedusha and 120 within uh, uh, the other side, because usually you see you have Memches of the other side, and the rest of the combinations of Elohim are in Kedusha. But at any rate. Uh, um, we're saying Mikol Helokim, whether it's within holiness as well. Mikol Biadu Lishanos, it's all within his ability to change. So to the Shalak explains this as well. That the, the that which is beyond nature can affect the within nature. And this is the concept that it was with that which they plotted that happened to them, meaning to say that it happened within nature, the beyond nature. Shayasiba, misiba, sasiba, that it would happen, the cause, from the cause of causes, that is, that Egypt ran after them. And, and through this, Nimshach, it was drawn, that in the pot that they cooked, they wanted to cook, they were they themselves were cooked. Concerning the concept of, and there was to Hashem the kingship. And it says in the Bechai Mishpatim that he's the master of all that which is under him, which, which I guess hints to this concept as well. That rules over all that which is above with the will of Hashem Mizbarech. Look what it says in Torah or Bishalach concerning the man, Shneamar Bol. Locked to biomo, it says, collect it each thing in its in its day. That is because it's being drawn beyond from beyond time. That is from the holy holy one holy one blessed be he. I guess that the man is similar to the Maise Haman. In that it's drawn from within with beyond nature from beyond time within time. Which is not the case with the rest of the bread. That the rest of the bread is, is drawn through the natural order of the flow through the malachim and so forth. That it says this, there's no blade of grass and so forth. There's no growth below that doesn't have a, a mazal that hits it and tells it to grow and so forth. And their, their root is within the, the Matat, who's called the ministering angel of the world, that it says about him, that I was young and I also grew old. You can't say that here, because he's under the boundary of time. That's why they also would grow on Shabbos. And the, the, the regular bread also grows on Shabbos, which is not the case with the man. The man does not come down on Shabbos because it's from beyond time. But even with the bread from the earth, our sages said, So the bread from the earth is, is definitely with more within nature than, than the bread from the heavens. But even with the bread from the earth, it says, that the Hashem gives you your sustenance by Medrash Shabbat, Parsha Breshis, Parsha Chav, Tav Chav Gimel, and Medalev, who are you, the Akadosh Baruch Hu Ba'atzmo, that He Himself, Akadosh Baruch Hu Himself is the one who gives. Shlo Ayde Malach, you get your sustenance not through an angel but through Akadosh Baruch Hu.
וזהו מה שנסבור לעיל בשם הפרדיס של רבי יעשו פרקי של רק נשבע המזון על ידי מתת. This is what it's brought in the, from, from the parties that only the, the, the sustenance is only drawn through matat, but it's still all with uh, divine providence watching over this and, and exacting it. And with the Hashem's uh, supernal command, really it's all coming from the Ebishter directly, not even through, through his lab shows. Kitzer, so in short, he named Milvad Shishol at Alei Ma'ide Lishonos Al Yad Al Yad Lishonos Ateva. Even though he rules over it, change the nature of the Gemara completely. Achzirakli Itim Zumani Merachokim. That only happens at set distant times. Ach Be'emes Shishol at Alei Bechol Eis Bechol Shah. But but the truth is, he rules over them all at all times, at all hours. Kamaimer, like our say, like the statement. That we say in Modim, upon your miracles and your goodness that you give to us, that are with us every day. And in Gemara Nida, on the verse that he does awesome miracles alone, why, why does it say that he does it alone? that the one that the miracle happens to does not recognize that there was even a miracle, meaning to say that it, it's within nature. It just looks like it was in the natural order. It doesn't look miraculous. Therefore, he doesn't recognize the miracle that's with, enclosed within the nature. Like the concept of you are the cause of causes. It's the, it's the, it's the pasuk in the It's the pasuk he's hinting to you. And, and all of the causes are not held, withheld from him. So, so this Gemara Nida here is, is, is part of the Chiddush within the Kitzur. That there's always the, the, the Chiddush and the Kitzur the Simach Tzadik brings. And with this, it's brought in the Gemara Nida here. That which they had plotted and this concept of shasibus mislabishim belivushateva, even though these causes are enclosed with enclosed within the garment of nature, nimshuchu memakum el yonyoser, they're drawn from a higher place, mehan neish shechutz leteva, more than an, a, a miracle that, that's from outside of nature, kilahal bishlamay lemateva, because in order to enclose that which is beyond nature, shia muster melubish tochateva, that it should be hidden and with, enclosed within the nature. It's drawn from a concept that's higher than both aspects, the beyond and, and the nature. From there is drawn that which unites them together, like the concept of the Pasukini of that he does peace within his heavens, that the explanation is between fire and water above in the heavens, that between the ministering angel of fire and water, that they unite together as one. This is also like uniting two opposing concepts, like to bring an elephant into the eye of a needle, like the concept of break the uh, barrel, but keep the wine. And this is the verse that Avai is greater than all the Elohim, so the Shalah explains, whether we're talking about the 120 combinations of Elohim and holiness, that from them is, is the root of nature, or whether we're talking about the 100 and Kufin, uh, 120 combinations of the Klippas Noga are called Biyadav, it's all in Hashem's hand. That he was ruling over the nature and, and, and below. Mizenim shachki b'gedera she bishlu banispashlu And from this is drawn this idea that in the pot that they cooked, they themselves were cooked. Sharimu shel gam b'kuf kav sirufim shalahem akedera shalahem that he rules also over the 120 combinations of Elohim, of, the, of, of them, which is their pot, so to speak. 
and will awaken you to this. or Look what it says in Torah or in Bishalach. But you want to ask on the Maimer about you should eat it today. The man within time binyan man shlo yara b'shabbos. The concept of man did not fall down on Shabbos. Mash enkin shariyashbos, which is different than all the other flows within the world. Afal pish ein lecha esef shein lo mazal chulu. Even though there is no grass that does not grow, that does not have a, a ministering angel that is flowing to it. Chinim shachim masar shalolam that it comes from the ministering angel of the world. But nonetheless, the sustenance each day is nonetheless from a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Even within nature, there's, that's the beyond nature within it. Which is like the concept of the cause of causes. That everything Hashem desires, He does. Everything that happens is, is with Hashem's will. And a comment on this. We can say, as is known, meaning Kikel Deus, that He's a God of, of viewpoints, that there's two viewpoints. The first is from above to below, that above is the true existence, below is incomparable, which is not the case from below to above. The viewpoint is, is that it's a creation of something from nothing. That the above is the nothing and the below is the existence. Now, now the miracle that's beyond nature, that's like the the higher viewpoint. That it breaks the nature because the that which is above is really the, the one that has more existence and is in charge, so to speak. But But in order to enclose that which is beyond nature, Yishlomu, we can say, Nimshach Memakum El Yun Yosef, that comes from an even higher place, Hainuki Kael Deos. What does it mean, Kael Deos, that he's the, the divine of, of viewpoints, Bishem Kael, with the name Kael, Tikun Harishin Yur Gimel Tikun Edekna, that this is hinting to the first Tikun of the 13 attributes of the beard. Of of uh, levels in Kesa who call it Abayz Deus Yochad that this includes both Deus as one Ki Kael Deus the, that the name Kael of the Yudgim Multikunim includes both Deus it's the Kael Deus the Kael of the Deus because it's so high that it, you can have them together Kamo Abayz Hofchim Benosi I like the concept of two opposites in one idea Makom Aron Inominamida that the place of the Aron in the Kodesh Hakadoshim could not be measured. Even though it had had a measurement, Yishlomo, we can say yamli We can say that this is higher that from this that he flips the sea to dry land. Aaron osius Noda Noda who I'll call Elokim. That Aaron is the letters of awesome of Noda, and that said, and the pasuk hints to this is also is that he's awesome over the Elokim, just like we're saying. That he rules over the Elohim is this idea of two opposites together. Here is the Aaron of the Covenant, the master of all the earth. That the, the, the name Adon is higher than Adnai. Like the, 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 the Pasuk, that now I will greaten the strength of Adnai. Adon honey flows, the master of wonders. That Pella is Kesser. And that's the concept of Adon being uh, from Kesser. That, like we said, that's where the, the Keldeus is, the, that which unites the two opposites. Kitzur the Kitzur, so the, the, in short, of, of what we just brought in short. Yisr and Achach Mamina Sichlus, that we have the greatness of wisdom over folly. Lo matzah ben mama, she did not find uh, anything to the uh, other uh, uh, idols. Afal pish amar mikol elokim, even though Yisro said that it was, it's greater than all the elokim. Al derech bali koach gavua mal gavua. This is like those who that we explain the name elokim, not to mean um, 
any, any kind of divine, but ability. One ability over the other, Shomer, that guards it, and the one that's above them, Sarushal Olam, the master of the world, the um, or the ministering angel of the world. Him calls that call Asher Chavayitz Chafitz Avay Asa, but nonetheless, everything that Avay desires, he does. He got Avay and call Elokim because he is greater than all the Elokim. The Shana was a Tevel Agamre to change the nature completely. Or to halbi Sham Lamay Lamina Teva Behat Teva, or to enclose that which is beyond nature within nature. And that's drawn from an even higher place. That is the concept of that he's a kale of deus that's higher than both deus. And that's the redemption every day. The uh, sustenance that you get every day is is kasha from the geula. That that's it's more wondrous than the redemption. Like we said, that 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 is it could be higher than the hofachiyam liabasha. Uh, the the um, uniting these two opposites is um, uh, um, is higher than an open miracle. It's it's like the miracle within teva that it's mislabish in teva.